gotta keep the puck out of the net. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Like, when I found out that I had kidney disease, I actually had a deviated septum. And I was, like, one of those young guys that's like, I don't need to go to the doctor. I'm in college. And I uh, just ignored it forever. And uh, I went for a pre-op for my septoplasty. And I have my doctor telling me, man, you're, like, 25 years old and you have the uh, kidneys of a 78-year-old. And uh, that was, like shocking news because like I didn't even feel any different it's crazy come on McJaggy put it in the, in the net The one thing that I did do, though, is, like, I tried to maintain it for as long as I could. I ended up, like, essentially being in, like, stage 4 renal failure for, like, 7 years, just focusing on my diet and trying to lose as much weight as possible and just being really conscientious about everything. Um, until, uh, at one point, just had to... Just had to, um finally go on dialysis and luckily I only had to do it for two months but surgeries and surgeries like it's crazy like okay what I want to do here can buff our bench warmers for the rest of this uh kill this or let's get rid of these spartans here yeah as i was saying like if i uh get enough chatters and followers my hope is that i can like maybe start like raising more awareness about kidney disease in general and um, use this platform to kind of like get some like cherries going around the kidney foundation because dialysis is really archaic and uh, it sucks. It's it's not fun to be on. Even even doing the peritoneal dialysis, um, like every four hours, I'd have to do it manually, um, and you basically just can't do anything. And you usually feel pretty good for about, I don't know, like uh, two hours, I would say like two hours after you do it, but then you start getting really tired, and then you have to do it again, and it's just like cyclical, and it's just over and over and over. 